Try using these battery management tips as a way to adjust your Droid phone's battery usage. We'll run through a list of items that you can use to get longer battery life. It all depends on how you use your phone as to how much battery savings you'll see from each or any of the following tips. The first three tips allow you to adjust your phone's display. The Droid phone's display, or screen, is usually the cause of the largest battery drain. Tip number one, adjust the brightness of your display. Do this by going to your menu and choosing settings, then choose sound and display, and then scroll to the bottom to select brightness. Here you have the option to manually change the brightness of your screen by moving the slider. Less bright equals less battery drain. You can also select the option called automatic brightness. This option lets the phone adjust its own brightness depending upon the ambient light. Tip number two, also a display adjustment. Adjust the timeout time period for your display. Change this option by going to your menu and settings, then choose sound and display, and then scroll to the bottom to select screen timeout. This choice allows you to adjust the time delay before the screen automatically turns off. Select from the list of preset options. As with all these battery management options, you'll want to experiment with which settings work best for you because it's a balancing act between convenient usage of your phone and battery drain. On to tip number three. Use the power control widget to manually control five major functions that each affect your phone's battery life. This widget will override other settings you might have changed. As an example, the last one on the right is controlling the screen's brightness. This will override any adjustments you may have made in tip number one in this tutorial regarding display brightness settings. I'll name or identify the power control widget settings from the left side to the right side. We start with Wi-Fi, then Bluetooth, then GPS. As a special note for HTC Incredible users, the GPS symbol looks different on your phone. You have a target symbol on the top line status display. If the target has sound waves coming out of it, then GPS is active or on. If the target is visible, but no sound waves are coming off of it, then GPS is not on. And after GPS, we have sync and brightness. Remember, using the brightness setting will override any other adjustments you may have made to your display's brightness levels. We have a couple of videos and tutorials that deal with this specific power control widget. Feel free to get more info on it by checking them out at usemydroid.com. Here comes tip number four. Try using the Advanced Task Killer to shut down apps. Get this free app killer called Advanced Task Killer from the Android market. Your phone keeps apps running in the background, and that's great, but it also eats up battery life. So we're suggesting that you run this app killer every once in a while to shut down programs you're not really using anymore. Even though you think the phone isn't doing anything, you might have a bunch of apps still running. Shut them down. Save battery life. Install the Advanced Task Killer like any other app, then every once in a while choose it from your app tray or the top status bar. Verify what is checked in the list is OK to quit and then tell it to kill them. I'm frequently surprised at what's still running. Now we'll take a look at tip number five, your wallpapers. Turn off live wallpapers. Yep, they are sure pretty and make your phone look really cool, but they eat up your battery life more than the static wallpapers do. You change your wallpapers by long pressing the menu key, then choose Wallpaper. Next, select Wallpaper Gallery or HTC Wallpapers, depending on your phone. Find the one you like, and then choose Set Wallpaper. Tip number six may not apply to you, but if you have apps that are frequently updating their information, then you can turn off apps that are always updating. Certain network games or investment or stock programs, weather programs, and the like frequently check online to update their info. You can try turning them off to save some battery juice. Remember, the Advanced Task Killer can help you turn off your apps easily. Tip number seven applies if you're in an area that has poor or no reception. Use airplane mode. When you are in areas with poor reception or when you don't want phone calls or don't need internet connections, like you're just listening to music or you want to play games, try getting off the grid and go into airplane mode. You do this by holding down your power button a little longer than usual. You'll be offered the opportunity to choose airplane mode, which turns off the radio or communication functions of your phone. If your phone would otherwise be working hard to get a good signal, going into airplane mode will save you plenty of battery power. See the little airplane icon? Don't forget to turn airplane mode back off when you want phone calls again. 
Turn it off the same way you turned it on. This last tip, number eight, is purely to see how you're doing by using the previous tips. Monitor your battery usage. Check into what your phone is doing and use that information to help you make adjustments to the above suggestions. Get there by choosing Menu, Settings, About Phone, go ahead and scroll to the bottom to get there, then select Battery Use or Battery, and then Battery Use. The first screen you see is the Summary screen. This tells you what's been eaten up your phone's battery life. Press on an item to see more details. For example, the Display Status bar gives you details when you select it and lets you make adjustments. Most of the other ones give you just more details about their usage. Here's the Use My Droid Power Tip. If your phone isn't getting a good quality signal, it'll keep trying harder and harder to get one, and that eats up a lot of your battery. Dial star 228, press send, and then press 1 and wait. This will help your phone lock into a better signal, and that saves you battery life. There you go. Now you have at least eight ways to try to conserve battery life on your Droid phone, and all of them are free. Experiment with turning certain items off or making adjustments to them and see how long your phone can last between charges. Everybody's different. It depends on how they use their phone. So see what works for you with these handy battery saving tips from the folks at UseMyDroid.com. Find other helpful tips, tricks, and video tutorials by searching online for UseMyDroid. Until next time, here's hoping that you get the most out of your Droid phone.